Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a quadratic equation using completing the square method. So the given quadratic equation is x square minus 14x plus 45 equals 0. Now the variable in this equation is x. So we have to isolate the variable to solve this equation. Now since we have to use the completing the square method, first step is to move this number term on the right side of this equation. So we subtract 45 from both sides. So as a result, the 45s on the left side cancel each other out. Minus 14x equals negative 45. We have to do the step for completing the square. So for that, we have to add a term to both sides of the equation. The first step for that is to divide the coefficient of the x term, which is 14 in this case, by 2. And the result of that is 7. So we add 7 square to both sides of the equation. So this is the step you have to keep in mind to do the completing the square. In the next step we'll write x square minus 14x plus 7 square equals negative 45 plus 7 square. So basically what we did is we added 7 square to both sides of the equation. So you can also show this step like this. We can complete the square on the left side of the equation by writing the terms in the parentheses and putting the square on the parentheses. So the first term we write in the parentheses is the variable which is x. Then we write the sign of the middle term, which is minus. And then we write the number that we are squaring, which is 7. We close the parentheses and put the square on. We can simplify the terms on the right side. So we know 7 square is equal to 49. We can combine the terms on the right side of this equation. So we get minus 45 plus 49 is equal to 4. Now we have completed the square. In this equation, we have to now solve for the variable in this equation, which is x. So the first step is to apply square root to both sides. Now when we do that, so the square on the and the square root on the left side cancel each other out. So we get x minus 7 equals plus minus square root of 4. So this is something you have to understand and memorize that whenever we apply a square root like this, side which has just the number gets the plus and the minus sign. We know that square root of 4 is equal to 2. So the next step is x minus 7 equals plus minus 2. Now we get two cases. So we can do this here. So we have to write the two cases. So one with a plus sign equals 2, which is the plus 1. And the other one is x minus 7 equals negative 2. So these are the two equations we have to solve to find the solutions for this equation. So for the left case, so we isolate x by adding 7 to both sides because that will cancel out the 7s on the left side. So we'll be left with x equals 9. So this is the first solution for this equation. Now in the other case, we'll add 7 to both sides again. 
the sevens on the left side cancel each other out and we are left with x equals so here we have negative 2 plus 7 which is equal to 5. So this is the second solution of this equation. So I hope you will find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.